Welcome back everyone. You're watching Tasker's Barbecue Supply. If you want to learn how to make some amazing chicken wings just like these on your pellet grill, stay tuned because we're going to show you how. Hey everyone, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the corner. You help out our channel and you'll get notified of our future videos and we're probably going to start doing some contests soon, so you don't want to miss out on any of that. But let's get rolling into the video. Alright, obviously the first thing we have to do is get our chicken wings ready to put on a grill. So we have here some whole chicken wings, these have not been cut into parts yet. The nice thing about doing it this way is you can buy these a lot cheaper than you can buy the ones that are already parted out. And it's very simple to get them cut into individual wings. We're going to show you how. But this is going to save you a lot of money, especially if you're doing a lot of chicken wings. The price per pound is a lot cheaper. So not only is the price per pound a lot cheaper, you're going to save money that way. But generally when you buy them this way from your local butcher, they're going to be fresh. They're not frozen chicken wings. And I prefer doing fresh chicken wings. I think they have a lot better flavor to them. So let's get these parted up and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. So the first thing we'll do is take one of your chicken wings and you're going to want to get the wing tip off and you'll find that there's a knuckle right in here between the wing tip and your flat. And you just want to get on the wing tip side of that knuckle, take a nice sharp knife, and just cut it right off. Then to separate the two pieces of wings, I like to just stretch them out, cut the band of skin between them, and then you'll come down to the joint, crack the joint, the bone will expose itself, and you just cut right between them. So that leaves your nice flat and your nice drum. And then all you're going to do is do that with all your chicken wings, and we'll get all of these parted up into individual pieces, and then we'll be right back. All right, now that we have all of our chicken wings parted out, we've taken and washed them off just some cold water to get anything off of these chicken wings that we may have left over from cutting them in half or anything that was left on them by packaging. The most important part is the next step. You have to pat the chicken wings very dry. Get as much moisture off of the exterior skin as you can. That's what's really going to help crisp the skin up in a smoker. A lot of people have problems with this and you'll hear people complain that the skin is chewy or that it just doesn't have the right consistency that you, you know, come to expect with chicken wings. The most important step is if you get this skin really, really dry and then we'll hit it with some pan before we put our seasoning on, that's what's going to help crisp up the skin. Along with our cooking technique, but we'll come back to that later. So, we've already washed these off, we've patted them completely dry with paper towels. Now we're ready to get some of these seasoned up. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to hit them with some pan. One that's going to give something for our seasoning to stick to since we've patted these dry, the seasoning's not going to stick really well. And that cooking oil is going to help keep the skin nice and crispy. So we'll just coat these over with some pan. And you don't need a lot, just a nice little light coating on everything. And then we'll put our seasoning on top. Now on half of these, we're gonna do some ranch dry seasoning. And basically all this is, this is just a ranch dip and salad dressing mix that you can buy at the store uh, to mix up some you know, ranch dip. And it works awesome as a seasoning on top of chicken wings. The other is gonna have Cabela's Kansas City barbecue seasoning on it. So let's turn this sideways here. And we're just going to sprinkle this ranch seasoning right over top of these wings. And 
And don't be afraid to go a little heavy on the ranch um, because it's kind of like a mix. It's not really a seasoning. It tend to, uh, tends to wear down a little bit uh, as you're smoking. So I like to go a little heavy on it. It gives it a little bit better flavor. Now, there are some ranch seasonings out there and they are different. So if you have an actual ranch seasoning, don't go quite as heavy with it. Then we'll switch over to our Kansas City. And this Kansas City has a beautiful, sweet, smoky flavor to it. I think it goes excellent on chicken wings. All right, now we're just gonna turn them all over. And we're basically gonna do the same thing on the other half. We're just gonna hit them with some more pan and put more of our seasoning over top. In the meantime, we have our Daniel Boone getting warmed up and we're only gonna do about 220 degrees at first. Now we're not gonna do it for the whole cook time. The 220 degrees is gonna go for about the first 20 to 30 minutes. And that's gonna get some nice smoke flavor on these chicken wings and it's gonna start the cooking process. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump the temperatures up to the 375 area. What that's gonna do is finish the cooking process very rapidly. It's gonna crisp the skin up and make sure that you have the proper internal temperatures for these. No matter what way you cook them, please make sure that you check your internal temperatures on these. The last thing you wanna do is make a batch of chicken wings for your friends and end up getting somebody sick. So, let's get the rest of these coated up. And again, we're just gonna coat them with our seasonings here. and then coat these ones with our Kansas City. All right, and that's pretty well it. Now, we're just gonna get the rest of the wings that we have off, off to the side seasoned up. Our grill's warming up and we'll meet you out at it very soon. And welcome back everybody. We're out at our Green Mountain Daniel Boone. We have it fired up running 225 degrees right now. Like we said, we're gonna smoke these wings at about 225 degrees for the first 20 to 30 minutes. Then we're really gonna crank the temperature up. We're gonna pump it up to probably the 375 to 400 degrees. Crisp that skin up really nice. Cook those wings all the way through and they'll be ready to go. Now, it's not your quick fix. This is gonna take a little bit of time and some prep work, but buying these whole the way we did is gonna save you money. The smoked chicken wings are gonna blow your family and friends out of the water. They taste so much better than a fried wing. Doing it this way is gonna be a little bit healthier than deep frying this wing. And what better to use your pellet grill for than to have a party? So let's get these wings on the grill. Now, of course, running our Daniel Boone today is nothing other than cooking pellets. Now you all know I'm a huge fan of the perfect mix, and I think it is an absolute winner for anything you can do. But today we mixed it up a little bit. I not only put perfect mix in, but I also mixed in about 50% of their black cherry pellets. That's gonna give us a little added uh, color to these wings and a little bit of a different flavor, but I think it works pretty well. So you'll also notice I have my cooking spray out here with me. This is going to come really handy here in just a little bit. Every so often we're going to come out and we're going to coat these wings down with a little bit of more oil. Now it doesn't need a lot, just a little spritz over top. That's going to make sure that that skin gets really crispy. This doesn't have to be done very often. In the smoke cycle, I say about once in that half an hour, maybe twice um, in that half hour range. 
is fine. When you bump the temperature up, come out every few minutes, spritz them down, and check your temperatures. You don't want to overcook these wings, but they need to at least be 165 internal temperature. So, enough talking. Let's get them on the grill. And you can see that cherry smoke gives a nice light smoke, and uh, it's going to be a tremendous flavor on these wings. So all we're going to do is throw our wings on. It doesn't really matter where you place them. Um, I like to put them, obviously, one flavor on one half of the grill. But other than that, it really doesn't matter where you put them. So let's get all these put on the grill. All right, as you can see, we have our wings all put on. We're just going to get the grill lid shut and let these take on some smoke. We're going to let them do that smoke cycle for, again, the 20, 30 minutes. We'll be spritzing them with some cooking oil in between. We'll be back out here when we go to turn the temperature up, and we'll show you what they look like then. All right, everyone, we're back. It's been about a half an hour since we first put these chicken wings on. And we've come out twice and sprayed them down with some cooking oil. It's now time to bump this temperature up. So we'll take a look and see what these look like now, and then we'll bump our temperature up, let them crisp up really well, and then we'll pull them off the grill. So let's take a look at them. These wings look fantastic. You can see that the smoke's starting to get to them. It's giving that nice color on the outside. It's starting to crisp up a little bit on the skin. They're ready to get these temperatures turned up and crisp them up the rest of the way and take them up to our 165 internal. So let's go ahead. We'll get our temperature turned up here, and then we'll be back when these are done, and we'll get them pulled off the grill. All right, we finished these chicken wings up and brought them inside, and they look fantastic. The smoke is giving us a nice color to them. They have a beautiful aroma. They're the perfect temperature and they're not overdone. They're not burnt or anything. That's what's amazing about doing chicken wings on a pellet grill. You can get a wonderful flavor, a super juicy chicken wing without using the fat and, and having to deep fry them. They're a little bit healthier this way and I don't think they get too overdone and too crispy. Now just to recap a little bit about what we've done, We've just taken these whole chicken wings and we've parted them down. We washed them off, patted them completely dry, sprayed them with a little bit of cooking oil, and then put our seasonings on. We then put them on our Daniel Boone at 225 degrees to get a little bit of smoke flavor into them. Then once they got to about 30 minutes in on a smoke, uh, we turned the temperature up to 350 degrees and then let these crisp up really well for about another 10 to 15 minutes. And that's all it really took more at the higher temperature to get the skin nice and crispy and get them to the temperature at where they're done. Now, all we have to do is sit back and enjoy. So, let's try one of these wings out. Mm. That has an amazing flavor. That seasoning is probably one of my favorite for doing chicken wings. It's just that sweet and spicy barbecue flavor. I think it goes well on chicken wings. It just gives you that traditional chicken wing feel. But as you can see, that skin is nice and crispy. It's not all gummy. It bites through nice and easy, which is what you want to see. If this was done improper, when you'd bite through that skin, you'd pretty well tear all the skin off at once because it doesn't want to bite through easily. You can see on the inside, it's perfectly done. Um, but it's super tender and super juicy. So this is a home run hit. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in today. If you like what you saw here, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, drop any comments you have below, and remember, subscribe. Until next time, this has been Tasker's Barbecue Supply.